Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> How are you doing, my darling? Oh, never better. Never yeah, better. better. Well, Episode 450 today. Oh, wow. 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 That, that is like a calming number for me. It's significant for sure. I love it. It's soothing. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like you're in the ocean with that dolphin you love? <laughs> Your posts are cracking me up about that. Just everything that you put up about how like Bo's mad at me because like I picked dolphin over her. And she's probably, thank God she isn't a human because I miss National Dog Day. I know. And I was like, what's now wrong I'm like, with I feel like a shit. Now it's like, oh my God, is it, do you, is it, do right. you, it's like, do you send the belated, happy belated birthday gift to draw attention to the fact right. that you forgot the birthday? Or yeah. do we just let it ride and hope nobody it's else tough. thinks I'm a bad dog? See, this is why people have stress and anxiety. <laughs> this is this is why I'm worrying. This is awful. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that was a lot of pressure. And then I thought, well, maybe... Sarah and Bo really are, you know, having creative differences or something. <laughs> and like maybe they're going through a tough time. They're on a break. I don't know. No, you know who is? Uh, I don't even know if it, it's it's what you would call it, but they're they're in a, a little bit of like a turf war, I guess, is Bo and Ren over <laughs> a, turf war. a pillow. The, Uh-oh. I mean, and we can't figure out if it's the if it, I think my theory is that Bo likes the pillow because it's Ren's pillow, Aww, and so that's nice. there is a pillow like you know how everybody you've got like the pillows that you use to like prop yourself up, and then they're like the ones that you use when you like go to bed at night, and then yeah. you like take off the the other ones and put them on the floor. And mm-hmm. Bo has abandoned her bed, and now she wants to lay mm. on the pillow. And so she goes to great lengths, I mean extremes, to get on this pillow. He's tried propping it up he, up against the wall. He's tried um, shoving it between the <laughs> nightstand and the wall. And wow. that one was a real interesting night because she woke me up like four times because she kept pawing at it trying to get it down. And in, because she couldn't get it down, I guess he like wakes up and looks over and she's got her head smashed between the nightstand and the pillow too. Well, wait, why in the does most Ren want to share? Well, it's a... It's our nice Brooklyn and white linen sheets. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, we have a strict no dog on the bed policy. I know some right. people are going to be like, oh, you guys are awful. They're on well, bed sheet wash day. She does get to come on so the bed. bed sheet so, wash day. you know, every now and then she does. And it's like a real treat for everyone. But <laughs> we have nice, beautiful white linen sheets. I can't be like having yeah. Bo. No, I appreciate your boundaries. Hanging out. And so, you know, when we end, because like she, she's like a licker and she yeah. licks her paws. And as you know, I hear Susie. you. So, I do. So we got to put, the, but she's like, she's got to get it. She's, it's like, I got to sleep on that pillow. Wow. This so is I don't know like what the a, deal is. This is not as fun as a typical pillow fight. <laughs> this is also a great advertisement for Brooklyn and pillows. <laughs> right. <laughs> because they, my dog like, said you a spare. I have something. got to sleep on this. Oh my God. That's not even an ad. That's just like what's really going on in my life. Yeah, no. Yes. Right. Poor Bo. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. So uh, speaking of things going on in my life, uh, I'll tell you a little <laughs> bit of a story about my mom uh, okay. close to me. She has something hilarious going on in her life. What's uh, that? So <laughs> she calls me and she's like, Sarah, have you seen my emails? And I'm like, well, you know, which ones? Because <laughs> oh, she sends oh, me oh. like 5 million. And so <laughs> I go back and look and she sends me the story about how she's caught up in a grammatical <laughs> miscommunication that turned into a racial. Oh, no. Argument. It's like a really terrible who's on first yes. situation. Yes, Susie. Yes. No. It's a Black Lives Matter who's on first. <laughs> what so, happened? Okay. So my mom is going to, she was, uh, I feel like she would probably want me to tell you that an important part of the story is she kept on having these dreams about an- anxiousness and like worries about her bike. And so she goes <laughs> with her friend to, I don't know, somewhere, wherever they are. And she 
gets she like locks her bike up and she lives in oh i should say she lives in costa rica for those of you and you should also say if you don't know she's psychic oh yes that's her job she's psychic that's her you know and her email says well i can't even say this first part okay so her this is her whole thing her (laughs) her bike got stolen from this beachfront restaurant like really like crowded beachfront restaurant and she has this group on social media that she's like friends with that all live in the neighborhood and they Mm -hmm. went on online to go post to help recover her bike and she has this best friend and her name's whitney and she always wants me to say like you know like just like you and she had like all these stories and i'm always like mom yes i know so but i feel like i gotta mention that part because she's gonna be like why didn't you say that anyways this is clearly my mom who's like narrating the story for me Mm -hmm. she says um the post said a white woman's specialized bike like in the picture was stolen from whatever this restaurant name is around 6 p.m., chained to the wall, blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, the comments blow up. No Mm -hmm. share, no care. Why say white woman? Racist? What? There's absolutely nothing wrong. And, and like, people were, like, going off on all because this woman forgot the comment. The comment. Yep, yep. That is a tragedy. White theft and the the, the the title, oh, my God, the title of the article is... Theft of white woman's bicycle. No, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> and my mom, she calls me and she goes, Sarah, Sarah, what? What do I do? Yeah. What do I do? Because here's the deal. I either love people so much or they're all idiots and I hate them all. Yeah, and I she's have like, that problem too. What? She's like, either... A lot of things are wrong. One, come on. You didn't know to put the comment in there. That was a really important part of it. And yeah. two, everybody couldn't figure that out from the, there's a whole description afterwards that it's clearly not like, but also you should have put the comma. I don't well, even know who side did it I'm say, on. Did it say women's or woman's? Oh, oh, this is an excellent, excellent question. <laughs> Okay, let me look. I have to look on the actual post that she sent me. Okay. Theft of... Oh, my gosh. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> okay, the post said... Let me see. A, a white... Oh. Woman. Uh-oh. A white woman's... Apostrophe S. That's a problem. Okay, a white woman's specialized mountain bike, like in this picture, was stolen tonight around 6 p.m. Oh, my God. That is so bad. <laughs> It should have been W-O-M-E-N-S, huh? Well, yeah, but there should be a comma anyway. Yes. Oh, I definitely, now that you say that, first of all, shout out to Dr. Butler or Dr. Meister, (laughs) whichever one you prefer, because that was like, I didn't even notice that. And that's why you're a professor and I'm a student. No, I think you are clouded because it's your own mom. So there's a lot more emotion. Not only was there a lot of emotion, her message to me about this, <laughs> so, this, and this is the this is the most hilarious part. And because now I have to tell you the behind the scenes of this story. As she calls me, she, I tell her, I'm like, this is such a good story for the podcast. It is so good, so good. But now one of the funniest parts is she's giving me pages of notes. That oh, now no. <laughs> made it even more confusing as I'm reading this. I was like, wait. What? I didn't need these notes. <laughs> Let me just summarize now <laughs> the five pages of notes that my mom sent me about the theft. Um, and then there's even more. There's more follow up. And then, oh so, you God. know. Did she get her bike back, though? No. Good question. Oh, that yeah. sucks. Well, this is a good lesson about the importance of commas. Right. I told her that, that she just needs to tell them it's like that, that joke, like, it's the difference between let's eat grandma and let's yes. eat grandma. Yes. It's so true. <laughs> and she's but like, I've never seen in real life one that was this consequential. Right. Well, and now caught up in the middle of this, you know. Um, right. Speaking of which, are you in, in Costa Rica right now? Because I knew it, you were going to say that. Did you really? I'm not shutting the damn door. It is hot no, as heck, No, you shouldn't. Sarah. You shouldn't. Oh, I wish you could run the AC, but it's too loud. But why is there like a menagerie right now? A outside? menagerie. <laughs> no, this is, Suze, this what? is, you asked for this. This why? is, what, did, okay, listeners, 
out there. Did Susie not <laughs> act like Snow White call the ravens and crows and say that she wanted to be in a relationship with a crow? Well, you maybe you, know you like put bird energy out there and yeah. you know the universe was like, "Here you go. Birds it is." I see your point, but I am disappointed about like the one-sided nature of the relationship I have with the birds. Well, I thought they understood reciprocity (laughs) given what I've read about them, about how they bring nuts and bolts and screws and stuff. What are you doing wrong? Nothing right. I mean, maybe like you're like not, maybe like you're not communicating in their like bird love language. I know. I've tried all different kinds of foods Mm. because I thought, well, maybe they didn't like (gasps) bread. Maybe they prefer crackers. But I've given up on them. So they can shut up. Wouldn't I? is I feel like I've heard that we're not supposed to feed birds bread. I think that's just ducks. Oh, <laughs> well, come <laughs> on. But maybe it is all birds and they're pissed. Huh. But you know how ducks love bread, but you, that's like real bad for them or something? <laughs> I saw a video of a duck that ran into a grocery or <laughs> ran into some store and stole a bag of chips and ran out. I was See? Like, I'm, they, I'm into that duck. They love carbs. Or <laughs> they love carbs. Who doesn't, <laughs> right? Oh right. my gosh! But yeah, birds they can <sighs> they can shove off because they just make a big mess <gasps> with all their BMs. It is what? so funny you say that. It's like you set me up for this. Oh no! Perfect because if you don't like, <laughs> I, 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 I guess Costa like Rica right now. Be, be careful what you wish for, Suze, because mm. Guam. Have you heard about what happened to them with the, the birds? Country? Yes. No. Okay, so uh, because I think it was it ca- it was with soldiers, like they came in somehow yeah. with soldiers on boat on ships, obviously, and brown snakes inhabited the islands, and oh when oh, they this like happened, came with them. yes, and brown mm-hmm. and they're brown tree snakes, and brown tree oh. snakes live in trees, and you know who right. else lives in trees? Birds, and yeah. these snakes ate. All of the birds on the island. Whoa. I mean, in a matter of years. And now, Jeez. this is, oh my God. Oh, I, I am warning you now. Okay. This is going to be spooky <clears throat> and super spooky. creepy. Yeah, like okay. the worst. Oh my God, I get chills. Ah, if, last epi- if last episode or a few episodes before when you were talking about that itch was not creepy enough, this story <laughs> that I found, like not even that long ago, is going to spook you out. Okay, so because there are no birds, one of the things that birds eat are spiders. And the island of Guam is infested with spiders (sighs) at a rate that's like four, and I'm not kidding with this number, 40 times that of other islands around. No. Yes. And when the and what happens in the rainy seasons is all the spiders go up into the trees and they start building their uh, webs. Uh, ah! No. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who's dying? You. Oh, I'm so dying. Oh my god. Oh wow, my god. That is yeah. so I didn't even know birds ate spiders to be honest with you. Yeah, so like we don't be shooing them off because they're keeping mm-hmm. Yeah, there. It's a population explosion of spiders. That article that I read said. Oh, it was so on like, NPR. Oh my god. The snake problem isn't even as bad as the spider problem, is what you're saying. Not even as bad, and the spider pro- <laughs> or the snake problem is really bad. And it's f- like this researcher said that at ta- that on, in wet seasons. It's 40 times more webs than the nearby islands. Oh, and oh. then they, the, the guy who's writing this article goes, 40, 40 times? And she's, he, yes, she assures me. What? Jesus. That yes. is horrible. And the one that seems to be everywhere is the banana spider. And those things are, oh my gosh, this is the other crazy thing. B- bug, birds also eat <laughs> bugs. And spiders eat bugs, so because the birds weren't there to eat the other bugs, the spiders are like, yeah, oh, no, there's so like much more food. So the steroids. spiders are 50% larger <laughs> there. Don't Jeez. go. To, this, is a, this is a terrible <laughs> ad for Guam. Don't go. No, don't. Don't. I, I mean, I can't even put my feet on the floor right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel like Remember something just when, touched me. Ma- 
<laughs> Remember when I got bit by a banana spider? <gasps> when you worked at the grocery store. Yes. The produce mark. Tell it. What happened? Tell Wait till me. I show. I'm going to post no. that oh, picture. Oh, you will oh, die. Oh, 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 my God. Have you seen the picture no, of it? No. No. It is so sick. Oh, You'll be like, I can't believe that was on your body. This is turning into... We have to change our category to t- horror and terror. <laughs> is horror. That, is from that, society and culture to yeah, horror. Yeah. We're going to have to change it. Oh, I'm freaking out. I legit can't put my feet on the floor. <laughs> yes. So, no. This I didn't led- actually know you were scared of spiders. Well, you know what? I think... I think with... It, so you know how, oh my God, this is going to take a totally left turn that I did not expect it to, or right turn, whichever one is weirder. Um, <laughs> uh, you know how we've been talking about how we notice the little things more now and like because yeah, right. we're kind of like desensitized in a weird way? Mm-hmm. I think I'm having stronger visceral reactions to things now oh. than I would like maybe in all ways. Really? I don't because, know. It's like, because that makes like sense. Like it takes less of a For stimulus. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, th- uh. Sarah's got a theory. I mean, it's possible. Yeah. You know. Although I would think your outings in the camping world would have yeah, like, like, balanced w- it. Yeah, but I like really loved that. I mean, I was like on, exploding, like crying. So, no. but like what's yeah. new? Well, but I That's mean, like on brand. <laughs> you mean when you were camping? Yes. Yeah. Like but a joy. Thought, Oh, that's nice. But didn't you see spiders and stuff out oh, there? Oh, oh, I see what you mean. I yeah. thought you meant like, oh, oh. Emotionally. Emo- <laughs> <laughs> no, like oh, I thought funny. since you've been out in the wild, <laughs> maybe. Like, um, no, I think, no, I, I feel like it's the opposite being out in the wild. I mean, I don't mind them. Like when I can see them, like I'll kill them. I'll take care of them. I'll handle them. Yeah, Sure. But I don't like a swarm of anything. I don't. I'm no, outnumbered. No, you don't like swarms. I don't like. I don't like swarms, and I'm totally outnumbered. <laughs> like it's one on one when I yeah. see them. Right, like, but in Guam, know, it's no, an army. Right. Yes. Oh gosh, when I was in Costa Rica, uh, I was riding with my brother on you know like little like dirt bikes at night, mm. and we had headlamps on, and. When you use the headlamp and you look off into the jungle, like because like it's jungle everywhere, you look off oh, just like yeah, on they the side. Scatter. They you could see like these reflective. It almost looks like like little like sparkly diamonds in the mm-hmm. and glistening things on the side of the road. And I was like to my brother, "Oh, that is so pretty! Look at the light!" And he's like, "Yeah, those are eyeballs." And I was like, no. "What? I don't know if that's true." But I that's, think so. That makes sense. I, I think Adam so said, too. Oh my gosh! Um, I didn't want it the. I didn't want it to be true, but it is. Yeah, because like um, Adam was the sound guy on this show called Destination <gasps> Truth, where they like try to find you know the abominable snowman and all these like mythical creatures and stuff, and they would be they would have to go for days into the wilderness of all these crazy places and jungles and stuff mm. and he said like no, when no. you turn on the light everything would scatter and you'd see oh, all these no. <laughs> critters oh, it's God. so gross oh. it's not for the faint of heart that is that is that that is really creepy but also I reminds love me when you of, get freaked out i get i have i'm telling you i'm getting freaked out me no i think i just don't like bugs and all that stuff yeah something like that but that also reminds me of a hilarious uh tweet or some meme i saw online that said uh how did people first figure out that it was cicadas that made this noise uh i could see that taking a long time were there just thousands of years where people were like yeah that's the tree screaming they do that in the summer (laughs) yeah right (laughs) that was like the funniest thing i was laughing so hard when i read that i'm like safe hilarious like it's funny but it's actually something that i think makes sense yes wherever you are though whether you're in guam costa rica u.s you ought to try Grammarly. I am so psyched about this partner because Grammarly is this program where you can do, it's kind of like where you would put like your writing, you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, I have different writing projects all the time and now I use Grammarly and it is so great. It is 
gives you suggestions on changing for clarity. It gives you vocabulary suggestions. Basically like it, having Susie right there with you. <laughs> and then if well, they had this, we wouldn't have the white woman bicycle mistake. Sarah, truly, you would not. They'd be like, I think you need a well, coma there. Well, this is the this is the solution. Hello. <laughs> Oh, well, oh my God, everybody needs this. It's so handy. It gives you feedback on your tone, your word choice, your punctuation. And whether you're doing like a book or an article or just like a tweet, you can write it in there and get more suggestions about what would make it more clear or um, just accurate. I just cannot say enough about how much I love it. And I wish I had known about it when I was in grad school. So if you are in grad school, this is a must use. Um, they have a premium feature that will help you write like a pro. It'll give you real-time feedback. You can, tr- And I learned so much too. That's what I really like about it. Yes, it gives me suggestions and stuff, but it also teaches me stuff that maybe I didn't know. And you can get 20% off Grammarly Premium when you sign up at Grammarly.com slash Brain Candy. That's 20% off Grammarly Premium at Grammarly.com slash Brain Candy. G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y dot com slash Brain Candy. Um, it's fantastic. Yes, I love this. So, God, I could have used that in grad school. Tell your mom. <laughs> I will. D- oh, my gosh. She's going to be. And she would love to do this. She's like, here you go. She would like be so petty as to buy it for them and just send it there. <laughs> you guys might need this. Yes, right? That's so. I love it. Okay. Um. So I want to tell you how I got on this whole like story. This was the, the story about the snakes in the trees and the spiders on Guam was like mm-hmm. four or five articles deep in okay. my like hole that I went on, okay. like down, I should say. And when, after I found this article that was on vice about how there's a lizard call, I think it's called like the blue wall lizard in Ibiza that is going extinct for pretty much the same reason that birds went extinct in Guam because <laughs> snakes and no. yes. And so like, you know, there's, and it's no joke, a plague in Ibiza and we think of like when you say, when you think of that we think of like party time we think of like beaches we think of like yeah, you right. know luxury nightclubs. like yachts and nightclubs and like i don't know wasn't Lindsay Lohan there for a minute <laughs> i think so yeah but because so when it got super big and flashy and touristy all of these luxury uh i don't know like developers and luxury like real estate people wanted mm-hmm. Mediterranean, like olive trees, these very specific right. olive trees that are so expensive too. They're like five, they're, I'm like 5,000, I think it's like 10,000 US dollars about for a tree. Like that seems expensive or is that like the going rate for, for trees? a tree? Goodness. No, I have no I would idea. think that's a lot. That's like a lot, right? So yeah. it's like only people who are like super fancy schmancy are getting these. And because super fancy schmancy people wanted super fancy schmancy trees, they brought with them all these snakes. And now the snakes are infesting the islands. That is sick. And there are like articles and posts up uh, like online and like on TripAdvisor and like, you know, those kind of places that are like tips and tricks on how to catch the snakes that are going to absolutely like – you're going to find them and they're going to get into your shit. No. And like this invasive invasive species thing. I mean, yeah. this is a real problem. Yeah. What are we going to do about it? Well, I don't freaking know. So <laughs> there were, I mean, there's, and I did read that there were a few arguments, like people thinking, you know, what do you do? You bring back certain predators or there's, so then it somehow led me to this article. And this is the question I have for you. That's like a, philosophical debate i guess Mm -hmm. somebody raised the question like we talk a lot about bringing animals back that are are going extinct or trying to like regenerate populations but Mm -hmm. would it ever be a good thing to get rid of an animal like and i am not saying this is yeah get rid of something but this is the what they're the point they're raising is like what are the consequences potentially to wiping Mm -hmm. out an entire population and some of the animals or species that they put up uh for question or like for removal uh a mosquito and Mm. 
um, which somebody called in the article, I think it was like a flying hypodermic needle, which I thought was really <laughs> hilarious. And then the other one is like a, a type of like tapeworm, like a type of worm, a parasite yeah. that you ingest. Yeah. Get, why get, let's get rid of those. I'm fine with that. I know. Those I'm two? the wrong person to ask. Cause I would say get rid of almost everything. <laughs> Like, I mean, I but know there, but uninformed. then also you were like, let's get rid of the birds. And then I'm like, wait a sec, remember spiders. <laughs> right. We don't know the consequences. So we need some smart person to tell us. Yeah. And then get rid of all the crap we don't need. How about that? Yeah. People I'm, don't like when we say that though. Well, yeah. But I'm trying to think of like it, what the potential consequences of getting rid of something like a mosquito would be. And then well, in the article. What do article- they bring to the table? <sighs> this is Nothing. I mean, besides like a really awful popul- form of population control, which is like <gasps> the grossest thing ever. Of humans? We don't want that. Well, they kill so many people. No, I know. That's why I'm saying like that's not a good thing. It's so like, so what's the solution? Get like, and so what they're trying to do now, because the more people we have, the more people are going to die of these things. So now scientists are trying to create mosquitoes that are built to uh, not be able to deliver certain viruses or certain things to yeah. humans. But then they're worried that those are going to get out and create some sort of superbug. Oh, God. So it's like, do we stand back and not play God and just let mosquitoes do their job? Or do we step in and roll the dice? Well, if we cause the problem... It feels like we ought to intervene. If and we in this case, the problem. we didn't cause like the problem with bee- mosquitoes. Oh, we caused it with the, um, the, it with the visa. Yes. Yeah. Well, and that's what we use. We use. We need an animal to population control snakes. Well, yeah. It seems like the snakes are consistently the problem here. They absolutely are. This absolutely <laughs> confirms everything I've said. This and is they why. Say- they eat pests, you know, like um, mice and rats. That's nice. But so do cats. Let's just keep cats. Oh, gosh. There, I swear, when I lived in Cota de Casa, there was 100% an infestation, which also is the worst, <laughs> most disgusting word for any sort of, like, right. anything. <laughs> uh, talk about triggering that itch. So, Why did you even bring all this up? You hate snakes. Well... Because I thought it was really interesting that, like... No, I mean, you're just a glutton for punishment. Taken. Yeah, and then everything just led me down really interesting paths that I thought were, like, fascinating to talk about. Like, this very interesting article on the debates of whether we should get rid of mosquitoes or not. Yeah. And, well, like... what Did they outline the pros and cons? Uh, this person who wrote it was very anti-mosquito. Good. Okay. Yeah. Who isn't? Well, anybody who thinks that there may be grave consequences, like we don't like, like if we get rid of, I don't know, something like snakes, something else will happen. Like, I feel like we like, is this like, I don't know. We step in and we try to like tweak little things and then it gets real messy. I know. I'm going to end up with all these messages of people being like, you don't understand mosquitoes cure cancer. See? Right. It's totally. Well, and, uh, well, no, that's not true. Never mind. I was going to say something about like, because some things do, there is a flip side to it. Like people who have the gene for sickle cell anemia have, yeah. uh, uh, are less, like they don't get malaria. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. For there's them. something about the shape of the blood cell because it's shaped like that, that <laughs> the things, certain things can't. And I feel like that. And maybe it's like they have less likely. Somebody's going to be like, those, that's not accurate. But I'm pretty sure it is. I read that. I think that's true. <laughs> yes. So that's like the plus side. And we like, that is really important. So like, you know, it's like a perfect ecosystem working together. So a place where there's like a lot of mosquitoes, people develop this, you know, well, and then it just gets messy. Oh, man. Nature. Yeah, well, this... That's why it's a philosophical debate. I came into this show in a bad mood, and you're not helping. I know! Oh, my God. (laughs) I just just added more to your plate to think about. And I was like, I'm just going to talk about snakes. But I think this all started because, yes, I did see that article on Ibiza, but then I also got uh, kind of like a pat on the back from science that says I'm doing just fine because there was some study that was done that said... uh, 
if your brain says a snake is dangerous, you should listen. So well, there you yeah. go. Yeah, but like if you look at a snake, we we were the research showed that people were like very accurate in being able to predict whether a snake was venomous or not venomous really? based on didn't, their like physiological reaction. Didn't you give us a handy shorthand for that? Like it was something about the pattern on, or the colors or did oh, I read that somewhere? I think maybe you read that because that's kind of what this one said. It was something about the color or the pattern of the skin that would tell you whether it was... Yes, they, they have a characteristic zigzag pattern, which yeah. it, helps be, it helps us recognize them more easily, and it helps vipers communicate and escape. So, like, vipers yes. were what they used for this. Oh! Vipers, no. I, right. Yeah, that no. is a really good PR animal PR, because viper sounds <laughs> like... That sounds exactly like what that snake does. Yes. Viper. Right. Viper. Biter. Yeah, it's like an onomatopoeia almost. Yes, for mm-hmm. sure it is. That's like a word <laughs> that fits. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, it sounds like we could all use like a little bit of maybe some therapy about our phobias. And if you yes. need some help, Me. we recommend better help, which is a fantastic online uh a uh, counseling service with certified professional licensed counselors who can help you with depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, anything you're struggling with. I like it because a lot of people are intimidated about going to a therapist. So it's a nice way that you can do it through your phone or on your computer that's convenient and affordable. And it'll give you a sense of like what therapy is all about. And it allows you to communicate anytime you want. So it's at your um, schedule and convenience. So I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash brain candy. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash brain candy. Mm -hmm. I've had really good luck with it. I hope you guys do too. Let me know if you've tried it and you like it and... All that jazz. We all need a little help sometimes. Uh, Well, I'm going to need some help. I have like a newfound phobia, I think. But I feel like now (laughs) I'm just kind of like, uh, maybe this is the only, now that I think about it, maybe this is like the only stimuli that I get. So it's kind of like watching a scary movie or like how I like, because this is safe. There's no snakes in my house. I guess so. I am very sorry for people who live where there are snakes. Or maybe that makes you more desensitized to them. Well, I mean, you saw one on your walk in Cota de Casa. Yeah, and I... That one time. It, and one a was rattler. alive and one was dead. Oh, oh, my God. I can't. I'm free. Yeah, that's the one where I... Oh, my God, I didn't even finish that story. The Where I said, I swear my, my neighborhood was infested with them. I oh, yeah, right, was. because I thought started thinking about infestation, and then I freaked out again. Um, <laughs> yes, no, because so this is this was, like, crazy. So, you know, I was on a walk, and, like, all of a sudden, here's something in, like, the bushes, and then right in front of me on the path, that snake goes by, and then the worst part was, like, I freeze and, like, grab the dog, and I'm sitting there waiting for the snake to pass and I could still hear all of like the rattling and that same summer the signs on the there was no need for them to do this but the signs on the path like right when you started like the trailhead uh they there was always a sign that says danger rattlesnake area like you know caution and it had a picture of a snake that summer they changed the sign to make it a way more terrifying snake. Oh, it looked, really? Yes. It was the weirdest thing because the sign was not like ruined. The sign was not, you know, I went on that <laughs> right. walk like they every day. They were just day. like, they were like, more mm, that, yeah, that one looks too docile or that we one doesn't accurately, yeah, like predict it or like, you know, yeah, send the message oh of how God. terrifying it is. But anywho, oh gosh, I feel like I got to like lighten you up with like a nicer story. Yeah, because we all know the world's on fire. Yeah. And so, Mm. like, we need to trick ourselves into thinking it's not all bad. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to hear about (laughs) how fast food joints are really great? Or do you want to (laughs) hear about how police are using people that they're calling super recognizers to track criminals? That's interesting. 
Oh, I love both. I'll, I do love fast food, so I'll go with that. Yes. Okay. Fast food it is. So there was research that was done on uh, old adults who lived in the Minneapolis area. And, you know, like we get this whole message from, so, well, fast food is not good for you. Eating fast food, definitely not good. And so the no. message goes around that, like, don't go to fast food chains. Don't go yeah. to fast food chains. But they're, they're, and they were kind of researching, like, where what where do older people feel the most comfortable and the most happy okay. and after researching 125 of these older older adults who are age 55 to 92 in Minneapolis and they just rode around with them and accompanied them on their visits and they found that the places that were familiar and most comfortable to them and were the most physically and economically accessible were fast food places, and Absolutely. they were the best place to socialize with family, friends, staff, and customers. Yes, I believe old, this. Old, old people love fast food joints, and that's the yeah. hang, that is the spot. Yeah, my grandparents every morning would go to McDonald's oh. and get a cup of coffee, and I think they got an egg McMuffin, and it was just their routine, and they just loved it, <sighs> and it, it enhanced their life. You, it, that is the key. That is it. It enhances mm-hmm. their life. And it's with those different like connections. And after y- hearing you say that, oh my gosh, I want to ask all of our listeners what their memory, like childhood memory is with their grandparents and fast food. Because I feel like every <laughs> single person has one, right? Yeah. Oh my God. My grandma loved McDonald's fish fillets. I think that it... It served the same purpose that for like the boomers now or even younger is Starbucks where you would just go and get a drink or something small and hang out with your friends and have a chat. Yeah. I do. I think because back then there, there weren't really those kind of coffee shop hangouts as much. Yeah. It was more like the, the, the diner, like the, yes. Because I think anything that is, resembles that. My grandma was also a big fan of Denny's, Caro's, yeah. Coco's. Uh, totally. They you love know? breakfast. They love, well, I mean, when, I she was also asleep by four. So That's the thing. I think they get up so early. Early bird special. Yeah. Man, the, I can't the, wait to be old. I know. They I'm just loving it. Like bring on the dick gray hair. Love <laughs> it. The wrinkles. I eh, like that about you. You know. I am starting to get more of those freckles, so. Do you like them? Uh, I mean, they hide the wrinkles, so, you know. Was it, you mean on your face or all over? All over. Oh, body freckles, too. Oh, my gosh, absolutely. Like, a whole bunch of my legs. I'm like, oh, gosh, there's, an, and I always, it, they pop up. Like, they turn white and then, like, white spots, and then they turn into freckles. I think they're cute. No, oh, thanks. Yeah, well, you know, what else? Somebody told me once, which is absolutely true, that babies aren't, there's no babies born with freckles, that it's all just sun damage, which is crazy to think about. What? Yeah, babies, like, the, that's what I heard. Babies aren't born with freckles. Is this true? Do I need to Google this? I don't, I don't know, but I I may know. be slinging around a lot of real loosey-goosey <laughs> facts today. This is the worst, because then I read no, all the messages. No, that's not true. All of these are true. I'm going to, I'm going to, de- all my stuff about Guam and the spiders, 100% true. Abiza is totally losing lizards. Right, because Sarah said sequoia was the only word that used all the vowels. No, that wasn't I true. I did not say, hey, oh, uh, oh, uh, let the record show. <laughs> I said that I overheard a girl <laughs> who was super facty. Yeah. Saying that Sequoia is the only letter that uses all the vowels. So I did none of my <laughs> research. I was simply relaying information right. that I overheard secondhand, which is like, you know, basically That's reading the headline. Everybody. So don't be mad Listen. at Susie. Well, that's for sure. Don't be mad at me. Ever, ever. Like, I don't... don't, don't like, <laughs> ever sl- about anything. Ever about anything. She's she's an angel and a gift Sometimes to Sometimes when people s- send stuff correcting you, I'm like, can you just message her? Yeah. I'm, I'm never going to read that. So don't even bother. <laughs> that's so you why I do. basically throw it in the trash. This is what I want people to do with I those read comments. it all. And that's why I am turning into a ragey... Uh, yeah. Well, I could, I was I was thinking about this like because <laughs> that moment when I when and I, this has now happened like every week now because I I now go to <laughs> Ren and like Susie of yeah. like tell me what the news is what do I need yeah. to learn about I 
like we were talking about it last night that like some people have a higher tolerance or higher like resilience to that kind of stuff and maybe it makes them feel okay i i don't think i i have to like go in and go out you know like for my own mental health and just be able to like not get no, too yeah the news deep. doesn't do that to me but when people correct me about anything yeah. uh, that really grates on my nerves oh, yeah well and my mom gave me she told me that after her experience and and not ever wanting to go on facebook ever again about the white woman bike incident <laughs> i understand that yeah and uh, that, i'm sure that was a whole storm oh of she sent me she sent me a funny <laughs> uh, like a follow-up email it was like the last of like five this one it said final on racist white bike story and then she said <laughs> the conclusion you could call it tamarindo costa rica goes crazy over a comma or lack thereof i was like okay it, was this a for real article no my mom said that she, you should that's what she, she's like writing she's her own ra- articles she's she's <laughs> producing our, she's producing our show so but in great. all fairness i told her to i was like mom send me send, yeah give me the uh, yeah. give me the give me the bullet points you i'm know? pretty glad my mom really can't email <laughs> that's a blessing i, I mean do. she can yeah. but not really yeah she doesn't know what she's doing on there. Uh, That's really? a blessing. No emails? Not even any of the, the memes? The, she the... has an email. Oh, and she because does... why would she send you those? Because you, you, you have yeah. a different set of memes. Yeah, she uh. knows better than to forward me the crap that she would want to forward me, which is all like... She's properly in QAnon now. Not oh. Fox News is not conservative enough for my no, mother. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. She's she thinks down. she believes like you know how they think Hillary Clinton eats yeah. babies and yeah. stuff. Oh my She's, god! Yeah. <laughs> so we just oh, don't talk about it. Oh my anymore. god! We just don't talk about it. Well, you know what? There are very different rabbit holes you can go down at night. Snakes is mine. Mm. Eating babies is another. I told you that's why I really wanted to discourage our listeners from kind of going into the oh, conspiracy for theory sure. thing, right? Because they don't maybe know. The overlap between, you know, the sex trafficking stuff and the QAnon world and yeah, all that jazz. You you need to really be on top of it. And most yeah. people don't have time for all that. Yeah. Yeah. Any oh, noodles. my gosh. It's, God that's bless exactly, Peg. Oh, my gosh. And most people, it's, they read the headlines. So that's it. Clearly, like, white women still on bicycle. <laughs> God bless Peg. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We, whenever my siblings and I talk <sighs> about my mom, it always ends with, but you got to love her. Right, that is that is maybe your family's version of bless her heart. My grandma yeah. all loved that. Not not grandma who liked fast food. Other grandma who I don't really speak mm-hmm. to. Yeah, she was very judgy. So she said, <laughs> "Bless her heart a lot." She was frequently <laughs> blessing, blessing my people. heart. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she told me when I was little that I was going to H E double hockey sticks because I hockey sticks. was baptized in the wrong church. Wow. Yeah. Which church did she think you should have been baptized in? Uh, I think they were... Uh, I always get this wrong. We were... They, like, which... What, Lutheran is what? Cons- it's Protestant. They were Protestant, and I think I was baptized in a Unitarian church. Oh, God. Or something like that. I or mean, like, normally Lutherans are oh pretty... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Lutherans are pretty... You know, they're considered mainline, which is very kind of like bland yeah but uh unitarian is different. Yeah. a different beast yeah i yes. like unitarian uh, me too that's like the best and that makes sense i like but lutherans I feel like maybe, too i'm just yeah. saying i mean like all of them but you know the one that fits like my lingo is like you know yeah, yeah you're definitely a good going. fit for that church yeah and clearly going to hell so but all the fun right. people will be there so it'll be great that's the thing, right? Uh, honest to God, if all these people that think they're getting into heaven are there, I'm giving my ticket back. Yeah, they don't want me anyway. No, I'm, they I, don't like our kind. Yeah, I have, I'm real rowdy. And I'll cause a lot. Like, <laughs> like, can I wear my t-shirts that say, like, <laughs> you know, my Marxist feminist dialectic brings all the boys to the yard and things like that? <laughs> I really did they wear that upon on a TV that. show, and that that was... That was for good times. Um, okay, what else do I have to tell you about today? Oh my yeah, gosh, this is—I have ar- some articles, but I, before I forget, I want to tell you about mm-hmm. this funny thing that happened last night. 
So Ren and I were uh, having some balcony time, just hanging out on drinking some wine. And it was probably like 1030 at night. And this guy rolls up in his car or maybe like gets into his car, rolls down all the windows, blast the music, full blast. We're talking like at an 11 and mm. proceed like we're not and the music was not good and ren and i were convinced <laughs> it, never is. it never is ren and i were convinced that it was his own music for a while and then oh. all of a sudden like two whole songs went by this is the other crazy thing guy in the back seat videotaping the whole thing so i think he was like oh, shooting like a, a music video. yes mm-hmm. because we live on a street that's like and that absolutely has had like influencers or people who are like coming to take pictures like early in the morning like i've seen Mm -hmm. them out there or like late at night because the street will be empty and it's like a busy street in la and he was like shooting a music video right outside and we are right above him he is so close like ren was like see this is why we need to get water balloons i'm like Oh and God. then he was like and then put paint in him i'm like you, stop upping Whoa. the charges and it's like we need to not think about that he's of course joking but the guy's sunroof <laughs> was open so it made for a really good you know mental image but this the best part was that we were like okay like ren who's now i remember i told you the story about the van that was parked out there for so long yeah. and like ren was like trying to get up the courage to like okay i'm gonna like i'm gonna report this van this is like now like they, this is i, I can't too far. this is too far like i, I yeah. have to do it <laughs> and the day he like finally got up the nerve to do it van is gone it's always and the he's way. like oh gosh i didn't even get my chance mm-hmm. and so this time he's like oh i'm gonna do it i'm gonna call the security office so he calls the security office and he's like there is somebody who's blasting their music really loud. I mean, like, you, can you hear what's going on in the background? The guy was right. like, oh, yeah. Not 10 seconds later, the guy turns on his car, no. drives down the street, parks it at... Then we absolutely know he's, like, drinking or something because he parks it at a green light and then no. fl- throws on the hazards and keeps recording whatever the heck he's recording. Wow. Yeah. I would kill for that kind of confidence. It, yes. Or entertainment. I was like, ooh, tune in on the I next have, episode of, of What's Happening in Marina Del Rey. I have gotten into several Ubers where ooh. the driver put on his own music <gasps> and it's oh, always like yodeling or something. No! This one, one was... Of, this one was... was it was like early 2000s hip hop style oh. but bad right. and like now like Ren and I are <laughs> right. both like Ugh. but then after two songs Pandora commercial came on so we're like first of all <gasps> what the heck station is he listening to it's terrible and this guy just has bad taste in music and why is he shooting a music video to somebody else's songs on Pandora or maybe can his own songs be on Pandora <gasps> This it's is possible. A good, it's possible. But like if your own songs were on yeah, Pandora, you're like, right. pay for you're the right. upgrade. I know, like, you're right. So why are you getting commercials? One of the Ubers, the guy was, it was like music, but then spoken word on top of it. Where he would be like... Was it, was it good? No. No, it was so <laughs> bad. He was like, you know, the song was playing music and then he came on and was like... Mm. I've loved you my entire life. Oh, no, 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 yes. no, no, yes. no, 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 no. <laughs> right. Was like it like, the, was it like, oh, like slam poetry. I thought it was but, like, da, 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 da. hey, ladies. <laughs> Maybe like that. Da, 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 Maybe da, da, more da, like that. You want to go for a ride? Da, da, mm-hmm. da, da. Yeah, like. cool men like me. Da, 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 mm-hmm. da. Hey. Very white, burn, but sh- not cool or burn, black burn, burn, or burn, interesting. Burn. Yeah, but not, but not any of those things that make him yeah, that make him well. desirable. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. And they yeah. really want you to have ask you ever, about it. Have you ever had like dated somebody or been with somebody who like wrote a song for? You? Well, Adam say <gasps> Adam does all that, but like that's cute. Fuck I mean, does no. he do all that? No, but no. nobody's like ever like written you a song or like done. What would you do? They would probably you? know that it would not be well received. Yeah, because I it would know. have to be like really good for me to praise it. <laughs> Right. Oh my gosh! It like it all seems like a little cringeworthy when I think about it. 
Yeah, nobody's Ugh. ever done that to me either. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We would never date someone that would do that in the first place. It's a certain type I of I probably person. would. <laughs> I've, be told, I've, I've made mistakes. You would. Yeah. Because yeah. you do like sensitive guys. I do. I did, go, I did go out with this one guy, but he turned out to be a dick, kind of. Yeah, a dick. Um, who, <laughs> yes, like, yes, yes. We like went out on like a first date and we were like walking on the street and the, yeah and now that i play this over this is such a narcissistic like dickhead move to do there was a guy who was on the street who was playing like a beatle songs on his guitar like some songs on his guitar and he mm-hmm. he was like um hey like i'm taking requests and i was like oh how about oh, like blackbird by the beatles that's my favorite song and the like mm-hmm. the guy like kind of struggles with it for a bit and then yeah. the guy who i went on a date with was like uh, let me see that and then he took it and just <gasps> crushes it stop and i was like oh that was so nice but that now looking back yeah. i'm like what a dick right ew and then he was like that like oh my god i'm gonna tell you what else he did that was so cringeworthy because <laughs> i don't even care he's a dick and he moved far away so it's all good and he's an asshole. Um, he, uh, I was over at his house and it, he like lived with his roommate and they were talking to me about, I don't know, dating girls on online, like Tinder or Matt or whatever it was. And his roommate was telling me about this other girl, which already terrible thing to do. Telling me about yeah, another really girl is. that he went on a date with. Ew. And <laughs> he was like, yeah. You know, she was, she was like, you know, we didn't like her. It was so weird. She always wore the same bra. And I know because it was gray and it had a little bow on like the, like she wore like a, they fucking took, what the God Why would you roast her for that? Yeah. I was like, oh no, never, never. This is, this is. uh, 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 Yeah, that's uh, a red uh, flag. uh, Red flag. I mean. It was his roommate, but I didn't even care. I was like, the fact that you choose, like, he, like, laughed or, like, they agreed or whatever, or co-signed no, I don't this. Like that. And I was like, no, 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 this will not work. Oh, no. So. I fucking hate that guy. Yeah. He was Well, at least awful. you're with a good one now. Oh, my God. I'm with the best one who would, like, ne- he's, like, the sweetest in the whole world. He and, is the sweetest. And uh, also supports my fear of snakes. Um, but we'll Is he afraid of pre- snakes? Well, I mean, he, uh, we discussed how things that slither and scurry are disgusting, but I know he would stand in and protect me from any of those things, so I feel very safe. What do you think? You know how some people have He punched a spider and- once, which was hilarious and like a really great reaction to it. So that made me feel like I'm always going to be safe with this guy. Yeah, Sarah said he was trying to kill a spider on the bed and he was punching it, but then the mattress like absorbs the impact. And so I was like, it was like he was giving a noogie. Yes! <laughs> which is adorable. Oh, yeah, and he's like, ah, ah, ah! Like would it? It wouldn't. It wouldn't squish. But like, I was so brave. No tissue or anything. Yeah, that is brave. I was like, oh, oh my god, my man. I want you to analyze people though that have snakes as pets. Oh, and no offense if you have one. Well, if you have one, I maybe like tell me what it is about it that you like. Because maybe it's like <clears throat> I like I think about why I got tattoos. And mm-hmm. how a lot of that was because I liked that being like part of my identity of like Sarah, the girl who has tattoos. And yeah. I think that it would be fun maybe <laughs> for some people and like maybe different and maybe lets you be like part of a, a, I don't know, maybe a different kind of like, like seen as somebody who can like, like tackle something creepy. So like... <clears throat> Brave yeah, so in, maybe in it would like way. be a tough guy thing. Yeah, or like or a tough or girl. Girl, yeah, and uh, and maybe like they're they like be, that being part of identity is like, you know, Susie the Snake Lady. Yeah, I just feel like with pets in You're general, like, nah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Because they like to, it's things. the same way I feel about birds. Like there needs to be something they oh give to God. me in return, oh, and gosh. I just don't know what snakes give back. But I think the people that own them claim that they, you know, are very individual and have yeah. personalities. And like, I believe that. I totally I believe, believe it, that. I know that they are. I just feel like it's like like I, you can't tell me on the scale of <laughs> like adorableness and cuddliness. Like, That's what I'm saying. A, a, 
cat and a dog. But maybe it's like different kind of work. Like snakes are kind of, you don't, I mean, you don't really have to do much with them. They don't, some of them don't even like to be touched. Well, you have to get rats and stuff to feed oh them. God. That's a lot Speaking of work. Of, this, one of my most <laughs> like, like logged in my brain for forever. I can remember, oh my gosh, every single thing about this, like, God damn, my friend Mark, what a jerk for doing this. He had a snake, and we used to hang out every day after school. It was like, you know, we were like the crew. And we went to the pet store to go get his, it was like junior high, and we went to the pet store to go get his snake, a mouse. And I'm like, okay, well, like, the snake's going to do his thing, and, like, I won't have to see any of this, no big deal. He gets the mouse, and his snake, I guess, isn't that old or, like, isn't that big, Mm-hmm. And so with you have to kill the mouse first. So I'm what? not even going to say this. I'm not even going to tell the story. It. I it's terrible. He would kill it right in front he of you. He didn't kill it, but the owner like nobody prepared me for this. Nobody was like, <laughs> "Hey, you're a little 8-year-old girl or 8th eight, grade girl and like this was imagine the scenario. I was like the girl from well not necessarily like from but like every single I basically was the, uh, uh, what is it called when, like, the Smurfette, she's one, like, the token. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. what is, there's a name for that. I there's, don't know the name. Yeah, of, like, like, I was, like, the token female in, like, a group. It was, like, four guys or three guys, however many would hang out with us that day, and me. And so I was always doing all these, like, dude things, trying to, like, you know, not be grossed out by them. And, uh, or pretend that I wasn't. And this... The owner of the pet store, the guy working at the pet store, takes this little adorable baby mouse, swings it, grabs it by the tail, swings mm-hmm. it around like two times, like around yeah, in propeller. a loop, propeller, yeah. smacks it on the counter. Oh, that's not cool. Uh, the n- most not cool thing that any, it felt like and I, I was I'm like. I'm sure that's illegal. It seems like. Right, <gasps> Yes, I have been you violated. A crime. I and and I feel like that's like 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 that's traumatized. I can remember everything about that moment where the door was. I can remember what color Mark's mm. shirt was. I can remember that. Oh my god, I can remember everything about it. I know. I will never go to that. Pe- I hope that 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 lizard reptile store in Thousand Oaks is gone. Yeah, I they, hope it's they become should a lock them up. Beauty supply store or something. <laughs> or a snake sanctuary yeah what if oh my god i'm sure That's there are awful. snake lovers out there but you know i don't get it and i know they're important I do like I learning about those links in the ecosystem and things like that. I guess that's why I was fascinated with it. I like the idea, and you know how much I feel like we're all connected and we're all yeah. so important to each other. And so I feel like, you know, we just got to, like, live and let live, even the snakes. I mean, I know you're right. I just don't like to talk about it. Yeah. But, you know, like we I'd have a podcast. I'd rather be a curmudgeon. So, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, like, I'd rather be the one that's like, kill them all. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Because they're creepy, man. They are. <laughs> Mm. any hoodles we, we should to, do a we wind down definitely wind down after this oh my god i yeah. do i mean we kind of started to talking about how everything's I all connected i should probably start drinking that's the big ma- oh yeah let's do that yeah. oh my god i'm out of wine sarah this isn't a wind down this is a turn up right situation <laughs> turn up. oh god this is I, a wind up that's this terrible is, oh my gosh we gotta wind up because i'm wind out i don't even know how that happens well Heavy drinking. No, I'm totally kidding. What happens is I haven't been. I've just kind of been forgetting about it. Like last night, I discovered that I was out of wine. At 1030, this was when I went on the balcony and when we had to witness the music video. Wow, you had to witness that sober? No, I had a little splash of wine. So I was like, Mm -hmm. let me pour myself a glass of wine. I had late sessions. I'm going to go out there. That was why. Okay, now I see why I was extra. This is good. I processed this. I see why I was extra like frustrated with the music. Because yeah, I had just had come out of a problems. session, I only had a splash of wine. I realized that, like, oh my god, it, I, it's already ten thirty, and like, I don't. This is the first time I'm even remembering that I enjoy a glass of wine after a long day. Oh, mm-hmm. so I've been forgetting, and I, I got to like re wow. re up. We have we need to have an emergency delivery yes. situation. Yes. If you ask me, yeah, it is nice that I live across the street from a grocery store. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm staring at people coming out with their cart right now. I'd probably filled with wine. right over there. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> they probably drank it all. Now Pro- it's gone. They drank it all. It's all gone. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. So well, what were I've your favorite parts of this show today? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. I like the fast food restaurant thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that is... You know what's so sad is like, I, you know, my my emotional reaction to snakes did did take up a lot of that episode uh no, similar to my emotional reaction to things like my camping trip um i liked your mom's like, who's on first black lives matter thing yeah um and this i'm gonna have to investigate this babies don't have freckles oh issue. oh my gosh yeah that's a fun one to kind of look up for until yeah. next time yes mm-hmm. i will post I mean, that article about um uh uh, the fast food thing because that is it's you know nice reminder and I do really want to hear everyone's like I love grandparent stories more than anything in the whole world and I would love to hear your grandparent fast food stories or maybe like you know like where like everybody's got one or or like Denny's stories like oh my grandma mm-hmm. loved to go here my grandma always met up with her like bridge club here like you know my grandma wouldn't eat yeah, drink a frosty without French fries send them our way i love them i want to hear them and like you know leave a five-star review while you're online because you're already there might as well we love you guys see you next time Bye. 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 bye 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 bye